I'm not a fan of the income tax in general. Uh, you know, I don't know why Texas and Florida don't have income taxes, and we do. Uh, Would you want to abolish that in California? I'd like to see it greatly reduced or eliminated. I think, you know, there's this idea out there that's tax the rich, tax the rich, tax the rich, and of course that feeds people, you know, who don't understand these things. You know, we pay taxes. Consumers pay all taxes. Uh, you know, the rich own the farms, the factories, the natural resources. They just increase the prices they pay, you know, that we pay, and, you know, and it's a very inefficient thing to do. Uh, and, and it's hurting the state because it's, it's causing people to, to move out. Uh, it's causing businesses to move out. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, frankly counterproductive. Prop 13, uh, I think, should be thrown into a mix with a broader conversation on tax reform in the state. Uh, it is long overdue. We had tax cuts in this country, and those tax cuts impacted California disproportionately, a few other states. If anything uh, that was served um, up by Trump, it should be uh, the imperative now for the next governor lead a tax reform conversation in the state that moves past the stale debate around Prop 13 and oil severance tax in isolation and look at the issue of volatility, which is our enemy.